Let's talk about uh, one of the tastier of the bunch here this morning. Darden Restaurant's out with a beat on the top and bottom line while also boosting its full year comparable sales forecast. Shares are only up by about uh, seven tenths of a percent right now. Mm. Earlier pre-market, they were up by, I think I saw it up by about two percent at one point pre-market. But uh, wow, things do change yeah, once that's you really uh, interesting here. once you flip the switch on that good old Mr. or Mrs. Market. <laughs> on the, on, uh, uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, taking a look at some of the actuals versus the estimates there. Yeah, we took it out to a thousandth of a penny for you just for good measure. But ultimately, uh, that's still a beat, whichever way you slice it. Um, taking a look at some of the year over year comps there. Particularly, they did highlight that Olive Garden just kind of continued to put the team on its back. They saw the strongest comps there. That was up by about 12.3% in terms of the same restaurant sales there. Um, so the Tour de Italy and the endless salad and breadsticks really um, – doing some wonders for Darden. Yeah, it looks like maybe something that is pressuring the company is it said um, that costs are going to keep going up. Yeah. It's not seeing disinflation. Costs are going to rise by 7 to 7.5% in this fiscal year. Now, its fiscal year ends in May, um, but still in December, it had said it was expecting an increase of 7%. So it's increasing that range or saying maybe it could be a half a percent higher even than estimated. So the company, while it sees comp sales rising this year, 65 to 7 percent, um, it's seeing those cost pressures still intact, which and, is quite interesting. Yeah, those cost pressures are certainly impacting the year-to-date segment profits for every business that they have. Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, Fine Dining, and, and the other businesses as they categorize it. All of them ha have slipped in terms of their segment profit. So coming back to some of those costs that you were mentioning, Julie, mm -hmm. uh, that's certainly compressing the margins there as well uh, that they're able to realize. Yes, indeed. Should be interesting to hear from some other restaurants if they're seeing similar pressures.